from uh, Og. And a raid from Gerald. So this will be the final match of the night between our current CTL champion, Gerald Freeman versus Dog playing Tetris, two-time world champion and former CTL champion 3-2-1 Tetris. This is also a rematch of season 18 and 19, the championship finals for CTL, where these two went up against each other. Season 18 had Dog winning against Gerald in a decider. And uh, season 19 had Gerald beating Dog in a bracket reset 3 and 1. So these players have been going back and forth against each other. Keep in mind this is now line cap and same presets, dual kill screen. B9 watching Tetris with the 3 2 1 bit saying good luck, have fun, go dog, go. No, I'm not trying to gift a sub. What do you think I made of money? I accidentally click something on the Twitch. Dog with a... Had a very dependent well on the center. Couldn't get a good piece for it. So now he's going to have to be burning into these first few lines. Gerald is going to be using this to his advantage. As he's now taking an early 60,000 point lead against Dog. 115 for Gerald. 57,000 points. For the two-time world champ. But a nice flat a double there from Dog. To uncover that Lombard dependency in the center. Getting droughted though at the worst time here. Ooh, Gerald's getting a bit high up there, but is making progress. Not the greatest pieces though, so this isn't. He's not safe by any means. For creates a Lombard dependency. Dog also in a bit of trouble. This is this looks like it's a bit of a suffer seed. Because neither player really able to be clean right now. But Gerald gets out of his situation first. He is Tetris ready. That's not going to burn anything. So Gerald once again has a close down as well. Right as soon as he uncovered it. Nice solve there. And he's going to be Tetris ready again. Can he get the Lombard this time? That Lombard's not showing up. Finally, Lombard there for Tetris. Gerald maintaining a 67,000 point lead. After Dog was also in a simultaneous situation. Or similar situation as Gerald. But Gerald was in a lot more trouble than Dog. That was just burning. But there, was, there wasn't really a situation where it felt like Dog might have topped out. Dog gets a nice center wall Tetris there. 119. Someone had, imagine if someone had their NES break before a match. It's happened a lot. It's, you know, it's definitely happened a lot. Or their controller breaks or something. Tetris there from Gerald, 278. So maintains an 129,000 point lead over Dog. Gerald is ahead by eight lines, but this is still a definitive lead. Oh, looks, maybe Dog was trying to do a last second adjustment because he saw that there was two Lombars. And he did have two Lombard dependencies in the center. So it might have overshifted it. it. Does get a nice triple. And a Lombard solve dependency. And he's going to be Tetris ready. Gerald once again in a bit of a dig that Dog could use to his advantage. Try and catch back up or at the very least chip away at this lead. Yeah, we had a 19% Tetris rate from Dog, 50% Tetris rate from Gerald. So, like I mentioned earlier, this looks like it, it was a bit of a suffer seed. Not the friendliest of pieces that either player was getting. You know, Gerald is doing okay in efficiency, but we saw what was happening earlier on where he almost topped out after that very high dig. He just he was able to clutch up Dog at 234. Gerald, 364. Gets a Tetris. Now set up for the J-Tuck or the S-Spin. Is going to go... Might go for the J-Tuck, actually. Going to avoid spin and is going to get that J-Piece in time. Nice skim there. Sets up a Tetris. Now 388 for Gerald. 285 for Dog. So Dog might end up with a 
potential 400k transition maybe even lower than that depending on how the pieces go and how efficient he's able to be in these last 20 lines before the 19 transition Gerald creates a Lombard dependency on the left side, opts to go for the Tetris first, and then he'll try to solve the dependency. He can set up two more Tetrises before 19. 435 now for Gerald. At the very most, he could get about a, let's see here, about a 480 transition. At a 483, I'd say. Yeah, 483 for Gerald. Dog so looking for three more Tetrises. Isn't going to be able to get a 400k transition into the 19, so it's going to be a sub 400k for Dog. Gerald over 148,000 points ahead of Dog right now. Gerald scores a Tetris 531. Dog transitions at 382. So very low transition here from Dog. But we've seen Dog do some very, very efficient 19 play and 29 play as well. So this is not in any position, not in any way um, insurmountable or in too much of a danger here from Dog. Dog right now, 413, still at 19. Gerald scores a Tetris 611. So just like that, now over 62% Tetris rate. Um definitely max outable into the 29. While dog still looking to gain some momentum here. 469 at level 21. Gerald solving that J dependency. Dog scoring a Tetris 495, still looking for the 500k, break the 500k barrier. Is Tetris ready? And finally gets a Lombard for a Tetris 525 for Dog. Daryl setting up the T-Tuck, gets a T-Tuck. And now, nice skim there, opening up that Lombard, that well for a Tetris 726 for Gerald. 529 for Dog, so Dog definitely with a suffer game. Once again, forcing a couple of burns here. Had a Lombard Dependency, but it solves it with a sequence of burns. 544 now for Dog. Uh, 764 for Gerald. So Gerald definitely looking a lot better here on the 19 speeds. Dog just hasn't been able to get comfortable here. Not the friendliest of pieces, but Gerald's been able to make do better. So 779 for Gerald, 581 for Dog. Dog kind of skims that line here. He's Tetris ready, looking for the Tetris into 26. At this point, we're going to be looking for significant 29 play for Dog, unless Gerald just tops out like right now if he wants to take this game. But once again, Dog with a drought. But does get the Lombard for Tetris 628 at level 26 for Dog. 836 for Gerald. Going for the safety burns. He knows he's very much ahead of Dog right now. So he doesn't have to go too crazy before the 29 speeds. He's also very efficient on 29 as well. As is Dog. So. Gerald with a J dependency. Solve there. He's going to transition into the 29 at 927. Dog once again with a 37 piece drought. Gets a llama for a Tetris. 680 is 255,000 points behind Gerald, who's still alive into the 29 play here. He's trying to set up for this Tetris with 29 speeds. And he gets a llama for a Tetris. 977 for Gerald. 716 for Dog. Looking for this last Tetris before 29. Goes for the last sequence of tucks here and gets a llama for a Tetris. 7.53 for Dog. 9.86 for Gerald. Dog is Tetris ready. Gets a llama for a Tetris. 7.92. We've seen Dog chase down scores with deficits higher than this. So this is still not insurmountable by any means. Gerald cannot let go of the gas pedal here. He needs to keep his focus. And reach 39 at the very least. Dog... 874 now only 150,000 points behind after being about 100 200,000 points behind into the 29 speeds dog trying to set up for this dirty tetris gets that all the way to the left side and a dirty tetris there from dog 920 now only 112,000 points behind and he's also behind in line so he has more leeway than gerald gerald already level 34 dog is tetris ready waiting for this last next 
Lombar. Where's the Lombar? Dog gets a Lombar for Tetris. 968 has a one-off before the max up, but hangs that TP. Gets a Lombar all the way to the left side to sub that dependency that was forming on the left side. Gerald already level 25. Dog trying to burn this down as quickly as possible. We start saying Tetris is Gerald. Is Tetris ready? But needs a Lombar now. It's gonna miss drop in top at a 1.09. So Dog, 1.09 is the score to beat. This is very much chase downable before 39, which is our kill screen. We do also have the two times kill screen set up. Dog needs 81,000 points. Looking at Tetris ready here, but keep in mind, Gerald did top out at 25, so there you go. Dog is going to burn this down. 1.03. Miss drops a couple of pieces here. I wouldn't say this is line outable. Maybe at the very least, a couple of triples would be very nice, but he's going to miss drop that J piece. Solves that Lombard dependency in the center. Just needs about a Tetris, but miss drops that square. Still just needs one Tetris here. He's set up for it. He's set up. One more Lombard should do it. And gets the Lombard for a Tetris. He will take game number one. Monumental chase down from Dog. In seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tetris. The TNL. Perfect. Yeah, what a dig from, from what a chase down from Dog. He said one of the most abysmal seeds I've ever played. It definitely did not look friendly by any means. Legs fills. Nice flat tuck there from Gerald. Yeah, hopefully this next seed is a little bit friendlier, but as I say that, both players experiencing a 25-piece drought. Gerald's couldn't use that long bar for a Tetris, so I'm gonna be waiting for the next one. He's now J dependent, but uses that long bar for a Tetris. While Dog is at 71,000 points with an early lead. This adjustment there from Dog to accommodate the flat L tuck. Yeah, it looked pretty weird, but it, I, I'm pretty sure it was intentional. The Basco pill. I think they're. It's straight up his pants, his shorts. <laughs> Dude. I actually kind of want one. The Basco, uh. Or hot sauce pants. Yeah, both players with definitely a better start than in the first game. So it looks like the seed was indeed friendlier this time around, thankfully. I'm looking to build up this Tetris, gets a nice J piece to skim. And build up a Tetris well, and he will get that Tetris. 283 for Dog, 253 for Gerald Freeman. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. The chat real quick. Gerald is set up for a dirty Tetris. He's waiting for the Lombard and gets a Lombard for a nice dirty Tetris there. Gerald might try to set up for a 
Row two, left wall Tetris, and he's gonna get that slightly dirty left wall Tetris. Three oh four for Gerald, three seventy five for Dog. Any tips for stacking? Build up your left side, and that's that's about, about as much as I can help with. So always make sure you have a good left well. Um. Don't miss drop. Gerald with 331 and dog 445. So dog definitely with a better pace here. 82% Tetris rate versus Gerald's 58%. Both players getting droughted here. Gerald forced into a ripple, but he does get the lumbar. Dog couldn't use, utilize that lumbar for Tetris. He had to use it for a lumbar dependency solve. Ooh, double flips that T piece on Dog's end, so it is going to cost him efficiency, which Gerald can use to his advantage to try and chip away at this lead or catch back up here with Dog. A nice uh, Tetris there from Gerald. Touches for Dog, another touches for Gerald, trying to bring back this deficit. Now only behind by thirty thousand points. I think we should also establish that parity is. You could basically just call board board health. So just making sure that your board isn't too flat or too jagged, uh, just right enough to where it can accommodate most pieces 128 lines for gerald 524 554 for dog and we're gonna get that simul tetris there gerald transitions at 548 627 now for dog so we are off and running here second 19 speeds Oh my god, my phone. Shut up. Yeah, Gerald this time around is going to be behind in pace, unlike in game one. So we'll see how this ends up faring up for Gerald. Because Dog ended up taking the win with significant kill screen play. And a very clutch chase down. But Gerald not one to shy away from 39 play either. So this is a very even match. Gerald 644, Dog 676. We should also mention that uh, this is a battle to see who will, who can keep their perfect streak. Gerald, I believe, is a, with a 4 0 match record. Dog also with a 4 0 match record, or I think 3 0. Regardless, they both haven't lost a single set this season. Both players experiencing the same drought here. But. Dog is Tetris ready while Gerald had to use that Lombar to set up a Tetris on the left to build up the left side and set up a Tetris, but Gerald is going to be Lombar dependent on the left side. 714 for Gerald, 752 for Dog. Yeah, what's up? Another drought forming here. Nice skim there from Gerald. Now 792 for Dog. So Gerald behind in line, so this is about a Tetris lead for Dog. Tetris not for Dog. And another Tetris for Gerald. 819 at 26. Dog 802 at 25, but has to burn a little bit. Gerald set up a Lombard dependency, but got the Lombard in time. Now, kind of build up his left side. Had a bit of a dependent board here. Dog had couldn't use that Lombard for Tetris. Gerald has the lead now. Dog with a center wall Tetris 843. Gerald set up for a dirty center wall and a dirty Tetris there from Gerald. 892 as we are nearing the 29 speeds. Gerald 
Gerald already level 28, 901, gets a Tetris, can set up three, two more Tetris before 429. Dog can also set up three more before the 29th piece. Gerald can get the max out with his last Tetris into 29, but he's just going to burn it down. Not going to go too aggressive. He's a very efficient roller on 29th piece, so he knows he has... He doesn't need to go crazy here for these last points. But is behind by 7,000 points. Hung that S piece, but gets the long bar all the way to the left side. Trying to burn this down. Ooh, Kings, that long bar couldn't solve the dependency. He was set up to solve it, though, but he just couldn't roll it over. But Dog is ahead by 9,000 points. Gerald with a messy stack here. Oh, and Hangsack square. And that will do it for Gerald. Dog is going to take game number two with a 1.06. Can Dog complete the sweep? Or can Gerald bring it back in his favor in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Tetris? Yeah, dog at 45,000 points. So is Gerald, so. Ooh, Gerald kind of misdrops a couple of pieces. This could be a bit problematic. Not necessarily in danger, but it could cost a lot of efficiency if he doesn't get the right pieces. Solve that J dependency. Just drought at the wrong time right now. Ooh, Gerald in a lot of trouble now. Could this be it for Gerald? And he will top out. That's it. Dog will take the sweep. And that will do it. So we're just going to do one final look at the standings as I report this match. And here are our final standings for Division 1A for tonight. Oh, let me... I keep forgetting I have to refresh every time. Hold on. Hold the phone. Oopsie. There you go. Dog overtaking Gerald here. 33 points. Uh, Gerald actually in second. Hold on. There you go. Gerald in second with 26 points. 4 one match record. And Andy's the only one who still has a couple matches to go. Yeah, he's actually going to be facing off against Dog and Gerald on Sunday. Looking to steal a spot at least into the wild card, if not the playoffs. Gerald taking his first ever main season CTL loss on Porchies. But that'll do it. So thank you guys for tuning in. Let's uh, just go ahead and raid monthly Tetris. Thank you all for uh, tuning in and hanging out, and hope you all have a good rest of the day, night, whatever, and see you guys later. Peace.